Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in a little place called Belfair, Washington. Uh, Highway 3, cut straight through it on your way from like Silverdale, Bremerton through Gorse, which it cuts right through that too, all the way to Shelton. If you blink, you're going to miss it, <laughs> along with Alan, <laughs> too. So anyways, welcome to my channel. I am so happy to be here with you. Um, this is my Paper Pumpkin Alternative video number two. We're starting for May 2024's kit called The Best There Is. And guys, I am really, really happy, um, I think, with the way this card is going to come out. So I hope you will be too. So as this is video number two, I'm going to show you everything that came in the kit. My little thinking fingers, right? So here we go. Oops. <clears throat> card bases are not in here and neither is the stamp set little bits that I cut off from the last one where's my envelope with the card bases oh, I think this is it I have to put this well we can we'll start with this in a minute so let's show you so this is the stamp set it says happy father's day to you with love, admiration to the most amazing person, you're the best, which you could put all of that on the inside of the car. I love the trees, love this, love this little bit too. Um, <coughs> excuse me, mm, it hurts to cough. So tell you, I'm going to say this probably off the whole, through all the videos. I may not be using Father's Day. I'll have to wait and see, but... My father is long since passed, so the kit, all the envelopes are the same, and wait till you see them, because they are strikingly gorgeous, uh, though I'm not cutting one up today. No, I'm not. Okay, so you got to make three of these cards, three of these, and three of these, and I'm not crazy about the wild wheat, just my personal preference. So this is a QR code to, you scan this, and you can watch a video to help you see how the cards were designed and assemble them. Down here is a QR code that will bring you to the Thanks and Beyond dies. Mm, love them. Those were for April, May, and June. And this one shows you a visual of everything in the kit. And then the coordinating colors are Basic Beige, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Misty Moonlight, Pool Party, and Wild Wheat. And why we say that, I'm going to pull the misty moonlight. <clears throat> so let's show you the card bases. So this is one card base. Now I want to show you what I have done is I used the die from the thanks and beyond and I cut out the center and I used part of this, this little portion here. I used that on my last card project. So this is now extra. So that's from this card base, and I used, of course, the other half. And then this one, I would call this a marbly type of the color of um, the new basic beige, kind of plain. You can do a lot with it, though. It doesn't mean, you know, it's not usable. It's just plain. <laughs> uh, this one is my favorite because I want to take my fingers and I want to peel the paint. I want to feel it flake off, and it doesn't flake off, but this is great. I absolutely love this one. And this, guys, is the envelope. Look at all that lusciousness paper that we get to cut up. And I'm sure I will use one or two envelopes as envelopes, but <clears throat> right now, no. So I'm going to tuck those back in there, and I'm going to tuck that in there, too, for the moment set those in my box and let's show you these pieces so we'll be using this piece today just as it is and this card sometimes I just sit here and things just kind of fall apart so I already did one video actually I think this is my third one today I did a quick mail call um, then I did a video I rested and I came back and I'm doing a second because I have medical appointments coming up and I want to make sure that I post my video. So this, I used this piece here on my first uh, video. So you got three of these little uh, circles with the trees and I'm so glad they were not wood. 
you got four of this shape, four of this one, and four of this chevron here. Now we're going to be using this strip for this one and all three of one of these. Um, <clears throat> though I'm not using that side. I, I just can't bring myself to do it. So there are my supplies. And then let me show you what we have left. So we have this trash bit, right? It's, can be used for something possibly. This, you could definitely do some sponging in these colors um, would be really cool so that that's keepable and this one as you have two of these you could do two slimline cards you could chop it off here <clears throat> you would have to guide it on this one because this one it sits in more than the these two you could use it these two or you chop off this section here, right here, and use this portion of the other one. So that is something that I am thinking about, and I'm going to set that aside. So what are we using? Well, I'm a little bit more organized. Not, not all the way there, but I'm a little more, right? So let me bring in my pieces. We're going to start with our card base, and this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and this is Misty Moonlight. So our next layer, here's my envelope. Now, Miss Kathy Kelly, you may recognize this. You sent me this with um, some of the bejeweled ribbon in that, so I kept the envelope, and we're going to use that because look how well that goes with that paper. It goes really well. Our next layer is layer number one is four by five and a quarter, and that's in pool party. And then next is what I call the chevron piece, because it's all those chevron pieces of wood connected. Three and three quarters by five. We're not cutting it down. We're not cutting anything out of it. We are using one each of those floral pieces. Now there is the wild wheat. I'm not using that. I'm using the white side of it, all three. I have the skinny sentiment strip. I have a scrap and I do mean scrap. All I had to do was cut like an eighth of an inch off of this because wait till you see what I think it's going to work. So, but this piece here is seven sixteenths. So I wanted this piece the same because I can show you what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to line it up like so. I'm going to take some snips and I'm going to use that edge to cut on this end. Just like that. Now I'm going to go to the opposite end and I'm going to use this to cut those off as well. All right, and then I'm going to cut this in half. And I can do this with my scissors as I don't worry about it being straight. All right, so now that I did that, we have this piece. Now I'm going to already start this piece. I want to flag it on one end. I don't want to do the other end yet because I have to wait to get it. So I just cut up the middle and then cut corner to center and corner to center. And you're gonna see how we're gonna put those together. And yes, these all just in my head. And then our last piece is the inside piece, which is three and three quarters by five in white. So let me move this aside and get this over here. Now, I am gonna bring in the Sincere Salutations, um, I think. <laughs> Let's see if those Thanks so much. It's going to fit on in there. And then that leaves me to use this one. With love and admiration to the most amazing person. You're the best there is. We're going to put that on the envelope. This on the inside. And we are going to do thanks so much. Yes, I have a little piece that I didn't use. You could do get well um, if you change thinking of you. I wonder if thinking of you would fit on there. Thinking of you would fit too. Good luck. Birthday wishes would be great. I just don't have a lot of birthdays. So we're going to use thanks so much. And I'm going to, I don't really need the stamp and pierce mat, but for 
like this one. But we are going to try it <laughs> and hopefully get it straight, right? In Misty Moonlight. That's going to be our ink of choice. Let me just give it a test. Oh, let's take it off of there. Otherwise, I may not be able to get it straight. I still may not be able to get it straight, but let's hope. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. It's all or nothing, right? It's all or nothing. We're in all the way. Yes! Touchdown, right? At least. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be that time of year here. So we're going to take a little bit of pull party and we're going to stamp this little, let's see, full strength. We just went seconds, second generation stamping. So that means you stamp off and then stamp. And I just want to add a little here. And a little here, stamp off, a little here, stamp off, and a little here. Just so we added a little, little touch to it. <clears throat> that is done. Where is the inside piece? Because this one, we do need the stamp and pierce mat. <clears throat> Excuse me. With love and admiration to the most amazing person. I think that is a great thank you. No trees on this. No trees. So no trees at all. But I am going to bring back in that little tiny speckly stamp. Stamp off, and I am going to come here with some. You, it's so faint, you almost don't see it, but now I gotta try it again to stamp off. And I want to go like there. Just trying to kind of give it a little bit of framing. And then top and bottom, like that. I'll hold it up. It's really, really faint. And I've got ink, of course, on this, which I better get off right away. Because otherwise, it's going to get onto something. I'll go ahead and clean these off while we're at it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so let me hold it up. It's just a little bit. You could have taken that circle. Remember I told you about stenciling? You could have done a circle and sponged a bit around it like that as well. <coughs> All over the... Oh, see that? It just is like ripping me apart from the inside. It is extremely painful. Oh, and it's killing me. Okay, so we're going to do our envelope, and the envelope is going to be in Misty Moonlight, which I really think I need to re-ink. I keep saying that, but I don't do it. So, you're the best there is. Oh, all done. I'm going to clean this one off as well, just because so it's done then. I don't got to worry about it. All right, we're done stamping, guys. Believe it or not, that's all there was. I just got to close this up as I ink my thumb up. It, it just, I can't help it, you know? Ah, no matter how hard I try, it doesn't work out that way. It just doesn't. So I'm going to use some snips. <clears throat> and let's start getting this card together. So we're going to take this. We're going to glue it to the inside of our card. And when I'm done with this one, guys, I've got to go ice my stomach after that cough. 
um, I think you guys will actually, this video, no, it'll be the day after. So the day after this video airs, I have two appointments I have to go to. I get the contrast C CT scan done um, to see if something's gone amiss with this abdominal surgery I had to have in April, which is <clears throat> my daughter keeps telling me, Mom, they cut your muscles apart. You may never be the same. And I said, honey, I said, they just need to tell me if this is the pain I'm going to have. I'm no stranger to pain. <coughs> I have chronic back problems. I was hit by a drunk driver when I was 15. Um, I was in a wheelchair for three months. I mean, I am no stranger to pain, guys. Just no stranger to it. Um, but somebody just needs to tell me if, if this is what I expect to have in my stomach, I need to know. I know that my muscles will probably never be what they were, which is a shame because I was really working hard on diet and exercise before this happened. Um, and I was making headway, very slow headway after menopause and all that stuff. But I was, <clears throat> I was there, you know, I was, I was so determined to work on everything. And then I feel like this just came up and strangled me. And of course, oh, I injured my right knee. Um, and I had been in physical therapy for months and I was making progress with the physical therapy. It was going really well. Um, I had, in fact, one of my physical therapy, I haven't been able to go back cause I can't drive. Um, so I have to start all that up again when and if I ever get better, when I get better, let's not be negative. We will. I've got to address this like I do the cancer um, and have faith in, in God that, that there is a reason for this and, and so be it. I'm going to roll with it. So we, you saw me do this. Okay. You guys see how gorgeous this looks together. I was so surprised when I pulled out that pool party and it looked like this. I was like, definitely, definitely going to use that pool party. So I was so surprised. <clears throat> I was really, really surprised with it. So I told you we have all three pieces, but you're going to notice that the pool party is the longest one like so. And then you have wild wheat, which guys, it's okay. It's okay on here. Okay. It, it's, it's okay. Um, actually it's not as bad as I thought, but I want to rotate these. So they're off cue. I just, I really like it being white. I don't, and I'm going to cut these apart. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm cutting them apart. I just can't do the wild wheat. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. So we're going to go with the white and you'll see there's lots of white, um, in here. So I feel great doing that. So let's cut these. You're not going to see the centers, <clears throat> but this is just going to enable me to move them more. So what we need to see is my Let's glue our little chevrons here onto these. So that's why we only needed a portion. So I'm just going to add glue to this part. All we're doing is extending a little bit. Go this way. And pick it up. I still feel like my nails are inhibiting me. Or I should say the lack of. They'll get there. They're getting better. My daughter's like, you need to use cuticle softener. Your cuticles are so hard and rough. And they are. My nails are just. <clears throat> so you can see this is going to go across. But I want this piece. And this needs just a hair snipping there for some reason. Okay, 
this is going to go like so. Do you see that? So this is why I said I had to wait. And I can see that this end also needs some trimming. Wondering. Not sure. Yeah, I cut into the white. Not good. But it will do. All right. So now we need to see where I want this to be cut at. So I'm going to add a little snip there and I'm going to grab the guillotine and then give it a straight cut, hopefully. <clears throat> so guillotine time. So that makes this piece is like four, three and seven eighths by one and one eighth. Oops. Yeah, I would still leave it at that. I just had to take off a little bit more because I didn't get the cut all the way out. So next, I'm going to come in. And I'm going to cut in the center and cut from point to center. Point meaning the outer corner. There. Now I have that piece. <clears throat> I'm wondering, do I add a little like Knight of Navy twine? Because I do have some. I do, I do. I have some basic gray that might go with it. So let's put that out. My little thing bits. Do I want, I'm going to leave both those. Or do I just want to do, let's see that. This is from Paper Pumpkin. This, I think, is like crumb cake. Let's see what this looks like. That could, that I think might be a better bet than those two. <clears throat> but we are going to stick this one on top of here, which I might have to put this on dimensionals after all. We will see what I can come up with. And then I want to add these. You can add one like that. Trying to get them in place. So one here. Get that away. To see if I need to. I really wanted it. Yeah, we're going to have to bring it in just a little bit more. That looks really good. <coughs> oh, that does look really And then this piece is going to slide up on top like that. I have to get a visual of it or I, I, this is just how my process is. Tuck that there. And then this one is going to go in the opposite direction. Oh, definite. Okay, I got it. And this one's going to go in that direction and I don't think we need that twine at all on there but I could do like a bow right here or we could, I don't have no that misty moonlight is too big I got misty moonlight ribbon but it is way too thick but we could do I don't like the knight of navy and I don't like the basic gray though that is in there we might do a little bow with this okay Let's let's put this together because this is going to be fantastic. I love it. Thank you guys for letting me share things like this with you because I do. I will get this excited over um, projects like this. I loved uh, sending cards that I made to my mom. My, my mom sent out lots of cards like I do. And it was so fun to share with her what I loved doing because she loved them as well. <clears throat> and I get that same joy now from sharing um, my creations with you guys. Um, I, I can't explain it. it. It just is so awesome. I got to make sure that that piece, oh no, it fell. Covers where I put, oh yeah, that's plenty. 
Okay, now everything else can go. This is on the top, right? Yes. Like I said, we're not using the wild wheat. It looks okay. It didn't look too terrible, but it's not what I want on here. So I do want that a little off like that. This one's shorter so it can go up. <clears throat> and this one, and then I am going to go take a rest, probably do a puzzle. I need to get my crochet stuff out of, um, from under my bed. My dear Hank has been waiting. <laughs> he keeps telling me, Manji, my gloves. And I'm like, I know, baby, football season comes, I'll be working on his gloves. Uh, fingerless gloves. I just kept pulling them apart. I would do them and then they would be too tight on him. And honestly, guys, I must have tried 10 times. And I've got the wrist part. The wrist is done on both of them this much. <clears throat> it's the darn, the, his hands, guys, are bigger than mine and he's only 10. His fingers, I don't, I, and I don't think this is an exaggeration of the size of his fingers. He is just, he's built like a Mack truck, guys. I'm not kidding. Um, and he's starting to get taller and I love him with all my heart. I am so grateful to my daughter for, um, for having him. I mean, I know <clears throat> he wasn't planned. But he is so well loved, so, so loved and so appreciated. Um, and I appreciate her that I feel she did the right thing. Of course, I believe should be a woman's choice. And there are cases where women should choose. But <clears throat> I feel that that she made the right choice for her. And... Um, we all benefited from it. it. It just is. Okay, you see how this is um, kind of off there? I have this little scrap from where I cut, oh, from the card base. I'm going to use this, <clears throat> and I am going to add a little bit of this underneath here to get it up, because see, I got all these layers, right? So I'm going to add those here so there's no dimensionals on this. So let's see. We have this bit, so it's like one and a quarter inches, and I don't need to do much. You could even tear it, but let's not because I didn't tear straight. So we're going to pop that piece on that side <clears throat> and over here, you know, it doesn't have to quite be the same. Then I'm going to lay it on top. I'm not going to glue it yet because I'm just checking to see if that's the right. Oh, that's going to work. It could probably go an extra layer. So let's, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do that little bit extra. There's a piece and there's a piece. Is that going to be? That should work. So there's some... Ooh, I think these are just a little too long. I mean, it's scrap after all. I do use my scrap and you can, but this is not going to have that bumpity bumpity of a dimensional. <clears throat> now it's perfect. Go straight across. That's what I was after. Oh, so nice, so nice. And then this is gonna go right there. Do 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 do. And I guess I could put this piece in the center. If I'm gonna piece the back, I might as well make it even, right? 
Now I used it all. And then all I do is add glue to this piece here, that piece there. It's going to cost money anyways because I'm putting a bling on this that the lovely Miss Phyllis sent me. So I cannot not use these. Look, that's pool party. How can you not use them? I, I have to use them, guys. They're going to just make the card just be excellent. So we're going to do one, two, three. <clears throat> I want one, two, and one, two. Let's do that first. So do I do the little ones? No. Oops. So I want... Maybe we just do three. One, two, and then I could do the three up here to where it's going to be seen. Yes, yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Love it. I'm wondering, do I do one, two there? No, because that's too symmetrical and that is not this card. So, where's my envelope? My envelope's done, guys. Wow. Look. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm so happy. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and it opens like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous alternative. I am so stoked. I wish I could play more, but I need to be good to myself and go rest. So I'm going to put my stamps and all my stuff away, uh, kind of. <laughs> I'm going to put things in the drawer, put the stuff back in the box, <clears throat> and go lay down. My husband will be... Oh, you got, finally got some sense in you, huh? No, I don't have any of that. Not when it comes to crafting. So I want to thank you guys again so much for letting me come in and share my love of paper crafting with you guys. I have such a good time sharing with you, and that's because of your comments. Um, so I'm going to try and make this short and sweet. If you are not subscribed, I would appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, would you consider subscribing? I know some people do not like to, and that's okay. And... Um, I am asking for your comments. If you like this card, please let me know. It really, it helps me in so many ways. Um, at the end of every week, YouTube tells me, you know, how many comments were done on my videos. But I understand if you don't have time, but it lets me know what I'm doing is being liked or is not liked. And that's okay if you don't like it. Um, we're all different and some things some people like and some things um, they won't like and not all of my projects come out the way I envision them. You guys have seen that here. I still like to show you because as a paper crafter, a card maker, I too have had projects that didn't just, they just didn't come out the way I wanted them to come out. And it's okay that that happens. Um, so I want to be a hundred percent honest with you with what I do. And that's why I show things like that. So please, um, if you can subscribe and are willing to, I would appreciate it if you can leave a comment. That's fabulous. I do uh, answer all the comments um, and I want to invite you to come back and visit me here in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now.